Partridge event has broken new ground. They have engineered a brilliant new kinetic artwork for Sydney, entitled Halo. So the project's been three years in the conceiving, designing, making, installing. It's been a great experience working with the four engineering disciplines, mechanical engineering, structural, carbon fibre, and wind engineering. Mm. So this has created this unusual and a very enjoyable marriage between art and science and engineering. Halo is a large-scale wind-activated sculpture, a 12-metre carbon fibre ring, eccentrically supported through a ceramic and stainless steel connection on an inclined tapered steel post, 13 metres in height. I'm Harry Partridge and uh, I founded a Partridge uh, group of uh, engineers uh, 30 years ago. We're now Partridge Structural, Partridge Remedial and Partridge Event. We really did come together as a team seeking to deliver this work of art. And as, as part of a team, there was a real breaking down of the barriers across discipline. And accompanying that was a level of respect for one another. And as that respect grew, then more and more the decisions were taken across the whole group of people. Everyone felt empowered to be able to contribute freely uh, in an atmosphere of uh, collegiate support. And that was truly wonderful to have that. Halo is not only unique in design and innovation, but also in the materials that were used, such as zirconia ceramic, duplex stainless steel, and carbon fiber. This was a case of materials being pushed to their limits and used as never before. Jeremy Sparks, director of Partridge Event, created a team of carbon, mechanical, structural, wind, and risk engineers and using a process of scientific management, determined that they would challenge each other to deliver remarkable results. What should have produced a neutral windage, such that the, uh, the model did not spin or weather vane, uh, was not working out. And we realised that the drag coefficient of the torus was considerably different to uh, that of its cross-sectional area. How does it work? How does it move? That's the, that's the bits that get us. It's like a bubble. Like a soap bubble. It doesn't matter which way you spin it, it'll, it won't sink or float. But that's what it's doing in an aerodynamic perspective. A good challenge. This goes well past any code of practice and it goes well past any um, calculable ability. There's no mathematical model that enables you to predict how the halo would move under the forces of wind. Yeah, and at each of those engineering um, disciplines were at their at their limit mm. in, in the purity. So yeah. structure, we needed the lightest, strongest um, a material that would feel like it was floating. Yeah. Um, mechanics, we needed the smoothest, most friction-free bearing. Um, so therefore it led to this extraordinary um, design, uh, mechanical design. And, and the wind, um, it's just pure science. It at the moment sits on a marble or a small bearing, a ceramic ball that's about the size of my little pinky, like that. And if we enlarge that and said that was the ball, the halo arm comes over and it rocks on that ball. So we never really, we have as frictionless as we can be, we only have a point of connection. So there's a single point of connection and it rolls over that. So it's like a rocking, like grandma's rocking chair.
it's it's never been done before. There's not there's not a need in industry to have a bearing like this. So the the idea to use these materials and the design of it, it was all innovative. It wasn't that there was I was able to sort of look at something else and go, oh look, that's something similar. I can adapt it or I can buy a bigger one or. And obviously, we went down the path of looking at what we could buy off the shelf, because sure, uh, you got you know already designed and yeah. and proven safety, but there was nothing around that would give us the functionality. So it was basically a, a blank sheet of paper build. When you thought of one aspect of the bearing, like how you'd get the pivot, then you thought, okay, how I've got to make that safe and controlled, and then I've got to work out a way of damping it, and then I've got to satisfy Jenny and Michaela and keep it within. A, a very, you know, a very small uh, envelope to, to fit into the end of the mast. Cartridge Event has worked on a wide range of public art, film and event structures, such as the Great Gatsby, Sculpture by the Sea, the Biennale, the Big Day Out and the Sydney Olympics. Halo, however, presented an even greater challenge, a challenge which they relished. <laughs> 